It's Sunny and Finn's Wrestling and Video Game Podcast. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 19 of the Sunny and Finn Show. I'm Sunny, and with me, as always, is Finn Steele. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> um, I've just had to do four takes of that because uh, I just could not get the words out. It's like last week when I just just fluffed everything. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. We all, we all, have, we all have that. Found it now. You all have our moments. <laughs> <laughs> you should hear me trying to record what happened NXT every week. Oh, yeah. It takes at least five goes to get it right. Yeah, I'm like that with the intro. Um, when I record the intro, I've stopped doing it now because I just used the basic one. But oh, right, okay. I used to have to sort of every time. <laughs> it's yeah. took 20 attempts to do it. It's like I got about five minutes into what happened NXT last week and I was like, what am I doing? This is rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> because no one wants to hear this. No, this is the biggest load of garbage ever. <laughs> um, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Apart from now that I've you know finally realised that uh, I can talk like a human being. Excellent. Yeah, it's always a good start, I think. It is. It is talking is good. And one of the key components to recording a podcast. Is yes, it's being able to talk properly. Yeah, just about. Uh, uh, have you been gaming this week? I have. What have you been playing? Uh, playing a lot of uh, Trials of the Blood Dragon. Mm. Uh, trying to get all the A pluses uh, for Platinum Trophy. That's hardcore. That takes serious patience. So I've done it. I have. Well, I've not. Got A plus. I've done the story and completed all the levels. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I've got the patience to go back and get A plus on every level. Yeah, I was looking at the leaderboards. It's like less than like thirty people in some tracks have an A plus. Wow. And uh, yeah, I think I'm number one in the country in a couple of them as well, which is pretty nice. I saw that on the <laughs> um, PlayStation community that we've got. Yeah. Um, that you posted in there that you were sort of, you know, nailing it really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was surprised. I was like, what? How did that happen? I'm number one. But uh, yeah, in the world, I'm like number twenty or something. But <laughs> yeah. it's it's pretty cool. It's a good game. It's a shame that it hasn't been received as well. Yeah, um, it's a bit wonky. I can see why it's done. Yeah, good. I think, like I said before, we sort of went on air that um, some of the I think because Red Links aren't used to sort of making bits where you're sh- you know walking around as an mm. actual human and, and shooting things and you know um, they really went out of the comfort zone probably because they've made so many great trials games that have all been really well received. And this one, although I enjoyed it very much, I love the setting with the soundtrack um, and the bike mechanics are still fantastic. Mm-hmm. Nothing's yeah. changed there. Um, I don't know, I just, uh, you know, I feel like it's a case of, okay, we've experimented it, it's not worked as well as we would have hoped. Yeah. Better look next time sort of thing. Yeah, sure. Um, but yeah, don't jet back levels and go die in the fire. Um, that's so annoying. Especially the one where you're like attached to a bomb and you've got to fly around and not explode. Yeah, that's my least favourite level on the whole yeah. uh, out of the whole game. Yeah, so annoying. Also, the level club to death can uh, go down a fire. Uh, right. Okay. <laughs> but that's the one we got like a swing around on with your bike, and you got you got to fight the ninjas basically. Yeah. The Power Rangers type guys. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. To get the person that is such a pain in the ass. I did it last night. I was at stream. I finally did it. I was like shaking afterwards. It's like, oh my god, I did it. <laughs> um. So you've been streaming Dark Souls as well, haven't you? Yes, I'm streaming Dark Souls. Did that last night. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, shout out to GameX and Tyrone. Uh, he joined on the stream. Was it Litica? He's always there. And uh, this is yeah, our uh, little community that we have going on at the minute. We 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 talk about it every week, but we really do have uh, a good set of people that sort of turn up to these streams at the minute. Yeah, yeah. And uh, awesome. we're very very grateful and appreciative. Very grateful of your support. Absolutely, very so cool. Uh, what else have we been playing? Anything else? Um, I'll tell you what I'm playing. Um. We're playing the lead sports champion on PS3. Oh, we <laughs> talked about this. We did, yeah, briefly. Uh, on your recommendation, on rec- uh, recommendation, uh, I picked up a PS3 camera for like three pounds from CDX. Oh, okay. And sports champions was like a pound. I thought, why the hell not? Oh, right. Wow. And it's like so good because especially like the gladiator one, but like a sword and shield. Yeah. It's like they do like massive combos and like send people flying. Like, yeah. Right which, which one did you get? The first one or the second one? Uh, first one. Yeah, it's excellent. It's so like, good. It's such a. I can't, I can't believe they haven't, um, like made use of it on PS4. I know, yeah. In I'm, some I, sort of, in some capacity. I know, like a, a full, like proper game version of like the Gladiator mission to be so much fun. It's, it's so like, good. The archery's cool, we have to reach yeah. behind your back for yeah, the, awesome. you know, for the, for the arrows and stuff. It's, it's a cool game. It's a really cool game. So cool. I'm going to pick up the second one as well. It's yeah. probably the best use of the move controllers that they, you know, for any of their move games. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, if move, like move came first before like Nintendo, we I believe that like move would still be around now because it's, it's so good. Mm. And yeah, I love it. Um, I'm getting super into it as well. Like Diamond Cross was safer trying to hit people. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, really, really good game. The only downside is I've got to like sit down to play it because my my place is like quite na- quite narrow. <laughs> so it's like I've got to sit down on the sofa, but it's still fun. <laughs> yeah, it's very fun. Yeah, it's really, really good. Um, I'm glad you picked that up. Yeah, I'm glad you recommended it for me. It's really good. 
Yeah, man. Full of your recommendations. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> um, How about you? What have you been playing? I've been... Um, I've made a promise to myself that I'm not going to buy any new games until I've at least made a dent in this backlog that I, that I have. Makes sense. Um, <laughs> We're still going to do that. There's not a lot coming out that I'm really that interested in until... Um, until, you know, the usual FIFA Pro Evo and then going into PlayStation VR. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, there was, but it's been delayed. We'll talk about that. But I've been, um, I went back, I've gone back and I've, um, been playing through Batman Arkham Knight again. Oh, yeah. On PlayStation 4. So I did it on Xbox One and I bought it on PlayStation 4, but sort of, because I played it fairly recently and, well, to when I had it on Xbox, mm. um, I just, you know, I couldn't be bothered to play it again straight away. Yeah. But now I've got back into it and I'm really into it again. Awesome. And I, I forgot how, um, I just forgot how good it was and how beautiful the game actually is. Um, I saw it. It's so good. Like, <laughs> it's, it. I think, I don't know if it's because I'm in, um, I'm in podcast HQ now and the TV's close to me and less, less glare and stuff when I'm playing at night. Oh, yeah. And I'm using my, my Turtle Beach headphones and stuff, but. That definitely helps. I love headphones. It's just, it's just an excellent game. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Batmobile got a lot of uh, hard time from reviewers and you know some you know game critics, but um, I love it myself. I think it's excellent. Yeah, um, it's a fucking huge city. Like, the map is massive. <laughs> yeah. It so is. Like, you, I mean, yes, there is sort of upgrades for Batman and stuff like that, so you can fly around with a bit more ease. But you know, you want the Batmobile to get around that city because it's bloody massive. It's like yeah. running around GTA. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, definitely good. I need to play it. I'm still waiting for the Game of the Year edition if that ever comes. There, there, there's one coming, apparently. Okay, good. It's not been officially uh, outed, but uh, there was so much content for that game. Yeah, there's loads. So I intend to sort of uh, polish that off. Um, it's cool as well because you can use like, old, you can use different skins for Batman. Oh, yeah. So different Batman costumes, and they're all very well animated, and they look great. Um, it's just a really good game. The voice acting is fantastic. Kevin Conroy, who is my favourite Batman. Oh, yeah. Uh, he... Um, he just do, he just does such a good job, is it? Awesome. He was the uh, animated series as well, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, Troy Baker was uh, Batman, I believe, in Batman Arkham Origins. It wasn't oh, right. Conroy. Yeah. But it yeah, it wasn't a rock steady game. But yeah. yeah, I've been playing that. Um, I'm loving it as well. So I'm looking forward to, so I'll probably continue with that tonight and uh, during the course of the weekend. And then then I'm going to go and I've got I've got like a list of games that I'm going to polish <laughs> off. Nice. So I'm going to I've got God of War three remastered that I'm going to play through. Okay. And I also have The Last of Us. Remastered, Excellent. and I'm actually more excited to play through those than anything that I've got. You know, that anything that's really coming out. All right, that's fair enough. Yeah, it's good to go back and play like all the games you might have missed. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm, I'm I'm pretty excited to clear my backlog. Actually, I'm going to finish off Doom as well at some point. Nice. There's only Go one game time. coming out that I'm fairly interested in, and that's uh, it's called Inside. It's, uh, oh yeah, it's like an indie game. And, yeah, it's like an indie game. It came out today actually on Xbox One. Yeah, it's made by the same guys who did Limbo. Is that the one? That's the one. Yeah. Yeah, uh, excellent. And excellent. it looks stunning. Yeah, it looks really good. But I've pretty much been exclusive to uh, Batman Arkham Knight this week. Cool. And it's probably going to be like that for another few days. Because it is massive. There's loads to do. But yeah, it's, it's so much fun to do. Yeah, excellent. Especially when they added uh, Season of Season of Infamy, which was uh, the last DLC that came out, which added um, four, like, you've not played it, but um, four bits to the wheel in the campaign. So oh, right. four new villains and four oh, new storylines. Right. Interesting. Uh, which is very cool. So That's awesome. Yeah, that's what I've been playing. Cool. I'll okay, so... Sorry, we've That's fine, Nathan. No, it's cool. You sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you sure, you sure? Yeah, yeah. All right. So, um, <laughs> last week we didn't really... T- we didn't talk video games at all. We uh, talked yeah, cool. uh, exclusive about uh, the current goings-on in WWE. Mm-hmm. And we uh, Our topic of the show was about John Cena. It was. And where he's at right now. Mm-hmm. It was a very good conversation. If you haven't heard it, go back and listen to it. It was our last episode. It was. Um, but the gaming news is back this week. It is. There isn't a lot, but uh, what there is, uh, I wanted to sort of talk about in a bit more detail than we would usually do. So, um, the let's start with some bad news. Okay. Um, obviously, I Which mentioned one? there was a game I was looking forward to, and it's now been delayed. Oh, yeah. That game is uh, the Return to Arkham collection. Yes. So that's... Uh... Oh, is it Barkham? Uh, Barkham? <laughs> Arkham, Barkham. Arkham Asylum and uh, Arkham, Arkham City. City. Yeah. Um, they've been delayed indefinitely. Mm, um, they Warner Brothers sort of released a statement basically saying that, um, you know, they saw how the game was pro- progressing and thought they would give them a bit more time to finish it, you know, to, to make it the ex- the Arkham experience that you would want. <laughs> right. That's good to me that there's like some major problem. Yeah. <laughs> and they had to quickly cancel it. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, or at least lay it. I think this is never coming now. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe there was like too many problems with it or maybe it just didn't look as good as it should have done. Well, this is a, it's a remaster. I mean, there's so many yeah. games that have been remastered that I don't understand why it's such a massive problem. I mean, I'll, I'll, we're not in game development and we don't know really that much about it by okay. any stretch, but um, this, the, I mean, this was a, literally a month away from coming out. Yeah. And then strange. they were just like, they, they cancelled, well, they not cancelled it, but delayed it indefinitely. Mm, it's quite a big, because normally if you get delayed, it gets delayed like a month or a couple months and they give you like a yeah. release window, but this not delayed. Not indefinitely. Not indefinitely, no. That's a bit, that's rare. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think it's coming now. No, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets quietly uh, yes, under the carpet. Quietly, <laughs> uh, yeah, quietly brushed under the carpet is the exact right way. Yeah. Um, I'm disappointed because I was really looking forward to getting back into Arkham Asylum because I haven't played it since, I don't know, like 2009. Yeah, I love Arkham Asylum. It's so good. And I was so excited to sort of play it and, you know, with the, you know, revamped visuals and all that sort of stuff. Mm. So with City, I love City. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen now. No. A shame. It's a real shame. Um, it is what it is. Yeah. Well, we always say if they're going to delay games to make them better, fine. But usually when games get delayed, they at least get a release window. Yeah. A yeah. rough release window. Even if it's going to get delayed again, it at least gets one. Especially with like remasters. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so, I don't know. Yeah, who knows? That's, that's my opinion anyway. Yeah. We'll see. Okay, um, the spiritual successor to L.A. Noir. Okay. Uh, Whore of the Orient oh, yeah. is what it was named. Um, but apparently that's done for. That's oh. not coming out anymore. Nice, okay. Um, <laughs> I was completely forgotten about it to be honest until you, uh, until you mentioned it. Yeah, um, I think people were excited for this. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've both got announced, like, oh, yeah, sure, I love L.A. Noir, so... Well, that'd be Did good. you really? Yeah. See, I wanted to talk about L.A. Noir. Because, like of, because of this, I wanted to, it sort of, um, maybe sort of think about L.A. Noir and then maybe sort of want to talk about it. Okay, sure. Um, I didn't like it. Okay. Um, I thought it was boring. I thought, yeah, it was, it had a very interesting, it was a very interesting idea. Yeah. But it was, it got tiresome quickly, I think. Uh, yeah, I can see where you're coming from. Uh, gameplay wise, it's a bit, uh, like standard, don't know what's going on. Mm. Uh, but I did like, uh, like, how you had to, like, uh, tell if someone was lying by their facial animation. That was very unique and I thought it worked quite well. But, uh, I, I guess sometimes it, like, it looked a bit obvious. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> and other times it was fairly difficult to read because, although it was a very interesting mechanic that they put into the game, mm. I don't think it worked all the time. Yeah, I think I remember getting frustrated sometimes with, just, like, and not being able to tell yeah. when he's lying or not. I don't know. I just thought it was. It, I don't know what it was. I mean, I had friends who played it and you know had the same sort of uh, experience that I did. I think enjoyed the first few hours because it was an interesting idea. Yeah. But it just I don't know. It was a bit long for me. A bit long winded, and um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just didn't enjoy it as much as I wanted to. Yeah. I think it was so hyped up going into it, like the whole face thing was like really, really bigged up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But you uh, loved it, did you? I thought it was fine, yeah, I liked it. I remember, like, mm. I'm enjoying it. Played all the DLC and got the trophies and all that, all the achievements. Uh, That's classic you though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you, you've invested the time and uh, you're a better man than I for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, I don't know, I liked it. The same as not getting a sequel, but yeah, I'm over it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what this, I don't, I don't really know what Horror of the Orient was. It's, yeah, I think it was did. made by the same studio that uh, did Alain Noir. Yeah. Plus, it was going to be published by Rockstar, mm-hmm. and then made by this. Uh, I think it was uh, Bandai. Yeah, I think, so. I think it's like an Australian company or something. Yeah, that. yeah. Uh, but I think it was just got caught up in production problems and the rest That's of right. it, and now it's been cancelled forever. Yeah. So I mean, people were excited for it. Not me because I didn't care for Alain Noir, but. I've lost my fucking notes. <laughs> they've, they've literally vanished. Oh, good stuff. Really? <laughs> um, let me see if I can uh, resurrect my notes. All right. Uh, recently deleted. Oh, here we go. Didn't delete them. Hey. They have found them. They're gone. They're, they're back. They're back. Not gone. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just, uh, the thing with that anyway, I just think it was maybe too ambitious. Yeah, wanted maybe. To, wanted to be too different. Yeah, I get that. And I think that's maybe why we haven't seen a sequel. Because, I mean, how old is it now? Five years? Quite old, yeah. Mm. And there was also a disconnect between, like, the first animations and, like, the rest of the game. 
Mm. My face looked really good, but the rest of the game sort of didn't. <laughs> There's yeah. like this weird little disconnect and bit. Yeah. Mm. It's, um, what do they call it? Uncanny Valley. That's the word I'm Yeah. Yeah. Have a bit of that going on. But yeah. I, don't know. I don't know. Okay. Supermassive Games, who brought us the wonderful Until Dawn on PlayStation 4. Yes. No spoilers, please. Have you played it? Have you played it? Not yet. Oh, have you not? I've got it. No spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers? Yeah. Okay. Well, I was going to spoil it anyway. Good. Um, <laughs> But uh, they are not going to be making Until Dawn 2. Oh, okay. Which is disappointing. Yeah. Um, Sony owns the reason. IP. Yeah. So um, somebody else um, is making Until Dawn 2. Oh, so it is getting a sequel. This is not, it is not, getting a sequel. Not by the original guys. I'm not too sure how much of a good idea that is. Yeah, a bit weird. Um, the first one reviewed surprisingly well. I kind of read it off because it's going to be like a oh, crappy, who cares game, but mm. it got really good reviews and a lot of people loved it. I loved it. I've got it, but I still played it. It's uh, really good. As usual. Um, it's really, really good. It's a, it's a very, this is, it's a very fun game. Yeah. It's a very fun take on the horror genre. Obviously, it takes sort of elements from, you know, games, the likes of Heavy Rain and, um, Beyond Two Souls and games like that. It's a very cinematic experience. Oh, yeah. It was, it was so, it was so much fun. It was so well done. And it, I, I would consider it a must play on PS4. Yeah. I would stream it or something like that. That'd be good fun. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just a really fun game. So, uh, they, Supermassive have basically said they want to branch out, um, and, you know, still have Sony there, but they want to do games for other platforms as well. So it says yeah. to me, the next game they develop will probably, you know, will be multi-platform, come to Xbox One and PS4, maybe NX, we don't know anything about it still. But, um, I think that's what might happen. Yep, yeah, sounds, sounds um, about right to me. I did um, want to talk about Until Dawn, but if you haven't played it, then uh, it's uh, it's a it's a nothing conversation because I will just go be like, yeah, this happened, this happened, this happened. It was amazing. No, we like put my ears on. La 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 la. <laughs> but but uh, good voice acting, good graphics, fun story, which you can branch into different ways. Yeah, I bet you like um, all sorts of stuff you can do. It's very very cool. So hurry up and play it, please. I'll I'll, I'll make I'll make points play it within the next couple weeks, and then we'll talk. About <laughs> and we'll talk about it. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Um. <laughs> Destiny. Destiny. People are still playing it. People are still loving it. Fair enough. However, if you play it on PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360, your you fun might be about to begin to end. Might be uh, about to end. Yeah. Um, Bungie have basically come out and said that they won't be supporting it um, in the same way that they support the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and I assume PC versions. It's on PC, isn't it? Don't think so. It's not. Not yet. No. It's not. It's not on PC. Don't think so. Pretty oh. sure. I was under the impression that it was. No, I'm going to double check, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Oh, okay. But to be honest, it was, it was literally spitballing there, I'm guessing. Let's have a look. Destiny PC. Either way. Um, so, any, so there's a new uh, DLC coming out um, later on this year for the uh, for Destiny on Xbox One and PS4. There was no PC version. Confirmed. No PC version. Right, okay. <laughs> but uh, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 will not be getting the same support. Uh, I'm not surprised. Um, I'm not either. I think they, this it's like about this time... Uh, during the generation that the old consoles kind of disappear. Yeah. Um, it's time to stop playing your PS3. Yeah, pretty you much. You get a good deal on PS3, PS4s and Xbox Ones now mm-hmm. with sort of new stuff around the corner. Um, you know, go go do that instead. Go yeah. And, go and tell your parents you want that. Yeah, definitely. Either or. doesn't matter. PS4's better. Yeah. The Xbox One is equally lovable. For sure. Yeah, sure. No, it's not. It doesn't come, didn't come as a surprise to me either. No, no. They not. are still going to support it. Yeah, I, mean, I imagine like, that's in the way of server upgrades and maybe the occasional, yeah, occasional tiny DLC. bit of content. Yeah. But as far as anything substantial, it's just not going to get it anymore. Fair enough. Um, who cares? Yeah, I no don't one. care. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Literally no one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what Destiny looks like on these old consoles. It looks beautiful on Xbox three, Xbox One and PS4. Yeah, I played the uh, base one 360 for the PS4. How was it? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Muddy. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Muddy. Yeah, a bit muddy, a bit blurry, but Fair enough. it works. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, like I said, there wasn't that much gaming news this week. Um, got wasn't... one more piece, which is going to lead into our topic of the show, but... Got some Overwatch news, you want to hear that? Yes. Okay, so in Overwatch, uh, console version specifically, Torbjorn is getting nerfed. Uh, his turrets are getting del- uh, downgraded by 30%. I did read that, but I thought, I knew I could rely on you for the Overwatch <laughs> news. Yeah, I yeah. made it for, a, you know, because I've been so... I've been bumming Arkham Arkham Knight <laughs> so much that I've, uh, I've just not played Overwatch at all. Yeah, but uh, I think this is a good thing because on console, um, Jormon is effectively breaking the game apparently. 
It's like apparently if you have like a whole team of two opponents, they just wreck the other team. Really? It's like that. So it's like auto. Tourists are very powerful, though. They're very powerful. Like auto aim onto onto you and just like, destroy you. PC is not so bad because you got you can react faster and obviously just take them down easily. On console, it's just safe. It's just yeah, it's working the game apparently. So I'm glad this is happening. Um, interesting that it's not coming to PC, uh, but it makes sense. And uh, also, uh, Widowmaker and McCree got nerfed on PC. Uh, Widowmaker's damage got lowered a little bit. And, uh, McCree, McCree's fan hammer, which is like a left trigger move. Okay. Which I thought it was the shot it was. Uh, got lowered a little bit. I would imagine McCree's will come to console. Uh, but I don't think Widowmaker's will, because again, it's a lot harder to aim on console than it is on PC. Okay. So, yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Right, fair okay. enough. And, um, um, is it competitive play out now as well? Uh, not yet. It's, uh, in, like, testing, I think. I think you can play it on PC if you go to like a specific server. Oh, I uh, remember that it was out. Uh, no, yeah, I think it's coming out the uh, end of this month. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, Nintendo Portal Two for competitive players. Because the article that I read, I don't know what it was. Like, to be honest, it was literally at a glance. Hmm. Um, it was like competitive <coughs> players here. Have you done all ten, like qualifying rounds or something like that? No, oh, well, maybe it is out. I haven't played it. I've played it a couple of days, so maybe, maybe I just haven't seen it. But I can't believe you're cheating on Overwatch with other games. <laughs> no, no, I can't believe it. But uh, I didn't see any update or anything like that. So, weird. Anything else you got? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I think that's it. All right, so this month's um, Games with Gold on Xbox One and uh, your PlayStation Plus games have mm-hmm. been announced for July. Excellent. Start with Xbox One. Another good showing. Um, I don't know if this is one you're going to be interested in. I don't know if you've seen these or not. Okay. Um, the Banner Saga 2. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think it's... Is it only just coming out? I think it's been out for a little while. Maybe just on PC, I'm not sure. But. Oh, okay. So the Banner Saga 2 on Xbox One, uh, available from July 1st to the 31st. Excellent. Tumblestone, which is sort of like a, um, a bubble bobble sort of game, I think. Oh, yeah, I think I like uh, Like a multiplayer sort of thing. It looks very addictive. Um, yeah. That's available from July 16th to August the 15th on Xbox One. Cool. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas 2, uh, which, is, of course, is an Xbox 360 game, available on backwards compatibility. Okay. Uh, that's available from July 1st to the 15th. Good stuff. Obviously, that's, you can download that to Xbox 360 and Xbox One. Mm-hmm. And Tron Evolution, which is a strange one, yeah. from July 16th to July 31st. Okay. Um, to be honest, uh, the, when I saw the trailer um, for the games with God, Tron was the only one that I thought, wow, oh, that was quite cool. I'll play that. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I might try Bandit Saga 2. I haven't played the first one, but it looks interesting. It's my sort of, sort of game. Yeah. But yeah. Is it like, uh, what is it, like an RPG or something? Uh, yeah, it's sort of like a turn based um, RPG. It's got elements of like um, Oregon Trail and uh, the old classic DOS uh, game. And yeah, so it's interesting. Guess who's not going to play it? You? Yeah. Figured. <laughs> <laughs> um, too much thinking involved. I get it. Too much thinking involved. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. I don't want something I have to think about. <laughs> Fair play. That's why I'm playing Batman. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. We're just going to beat the shit out of people on the street. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. It's just... I'll go and do that. Um, PlayStation 4 mm-hmm. gets uh, Saints Row Gat Out of Hell cool which is the expansion uh, the standalone expansion to Saints Row 4 yeah the excellent Saints Row 4 so funny is very good um, so out of this worldly ridiculous as well that's a pun because space yeah <laughs> there we go that's true um, yeah so you get that for PlayStation 4 and you get a new game called Fury mm-hmm. I think I'm pronouncing it right but it's spelled F-U-R-I Sounds right. Um, I'm going to read the little blurb that comes with Fury. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's go on. <laughs> my reading voice on. Um, Fury is a new title from the Game Bakers, built on the premise of making a game that is both simple and deep. Fury is a fast-paced, tense, and ultimately rewarding gameplay experience. Okay. The depth comes from ways which... Fucking hell. Solid reading voice. <laughs> <laughs> the depth comes from the ways with which you use the skills to take on unique opponents. <laughs> it's not like a tenny world reading out or something. And I know, I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like when you get that, that pressure at school. Yeah, Can yeah. you read this bit? And <laughs> you, you, you know that you're fully competent in reading, but all of a sudden, all of that just leaves you. Yeah. And you're that like, went I shop. must <laughs> like to... <laughs> That's me reading the description. It looks uh-huh. alright. It looks good anyway. It looks Forget fun, it. Yeah. it looks fine. It's free, so play it. It's free, just play it. I don't think it's out yet. I think it comes out, I literally when the PlayStation Plus games come out, so next week. Awesome. So just go play Fury. Don't listen to me talk about it. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Make yeah, it my mind about that's it. That's fine. So 
Uh, <laughs> uh, on PlayStation 3, you get Fat Princess, the original one. Oh, yeah. Uh, Call of Juarez, is it? Juarez. Juarez. Mm. Uh, Bound in Blood. Okay. On PlayStation 3. Um, the Vita gets, you know, Subtle. stiff this month. <laughs> it always does. Prin- <laughs> Prince of Persia Revelations and Orishika Tainted Bloodlines. Right. Who gives a fuck about them games? Not me. <laughs> oh, the, 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 the Vita's getting a rough deal on PlayStation Plus at the minute. Pretty much, yeah. Because... Uh, like recently they've been getting the old God of War games not oh, even yeah. the God of War collection that you can get on Vita yeah. they've been giving you the the PSP games they're the PSP versions of it yeah weird tight bastard <laughs> just give, give them the proper versions yeah. I don't get it there are good Vita games out there just, just give, them, give us them there's there's good Vita games out there and there's good Vita games coming Yeah. you're never going to get a AAA title anymore no, you're going to get indie games and you know games from there's good games out there yeah do do better, Sony. <laughs> right. I don't. I mean, I don't believe this crap that the Vita's dead. Um, well, I think Sony don't care all that much about it anymore. They but made, still didn't even... games for it. Yeah, but they didn't mention it during E3 at all, did they? No, not at all. There yeah. was games at E3. Yeah, but not that you would have. You would have had to done the. You know, you would have had to go digging for them. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh yeah. Yeah. So there's your free games. Cool. Um, this week's topic of the show, we're going to talk about everybody's favorite blue hedgehog. Yay. This week's uh, Sega have announced that Sonic Team is indeed working on a brand new Sonic game. Cool. It's Sonic Boom 2. Yeah. It is better not be. <laughs> yeah. Better not. No, there's, there's like a, a statement that came out and they said that they were working on a quality. Uh, this says to me that they knew that the other one, the other ones, or oh, yeah. I say other ones, ones very recently mm. have been garbage. Yeah. Hot garbage. Hot, hot stinky garbage. Yeah, I'm going to pull up a list of the Sonic games that we've had. Okay. Fact, every Sonic game ever, I'm going to pull a list out. Yeah, go for it. And we're going to talk about it. <laughs> um, what's your view on Sonic at the minute? Um, so I grew up with Sonic. Uh, I was a very Sega kid growing up. Sonic was the first game I ever played. Um, still like Sonic very much. It's with the older games. Um, yeah, I, I, I think Sega's afraid to... Um, I don't know. Afraid to work... Like on one solid Sonic game, they want to like spread their load and make as many as possible, and just well, at least back then they did when they're making crap out of Sonic Boom. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the thing is. They want they make good games, but they don't follow up on them. Like Sonic Generations was excellent, but there was no Sonic Generations two. There was no DLC for Sonic Generations. Yeah. It just kind of faded away. Um, and then they released something else that's probably garbage. So uh, I'm the same as you here. Uh, mm. I my first one of my first ever gaming experiences was Sonic the Hedgehog on the Mega Drive. Yeah, Genesis. If you are listening in America, if you are, yes. <laughs> um, and that was you know one of my first gaming experiences. And I you know I was Sega growing up. Um, never saw Mario. I played Mario. It was fine. <laughs> but you know I loved the character of Sonic. Yeah, I loved the. It was good versus evil. It was Sonic versus Eggman. Yeah. Dr. Robotnik. Dr. Robotnik. Yeah, right. Sorry. You know what? That, 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 <laughs> it fell out of my mouth like it was natural. Ah, oh, sickening. <laughs> why is it that, why did they change it to Eggman? Uh, I think it's always been Eggman in Japan and it's kind of changed it so it's like the same everywhere. I don't know why. I would prefer Robotnik personally. Yeah, me too. I mean, I just think it's a much cooler bad guy name. It's much cooler, yeah. But it's like, Sonic 1 was, you know, it was six stages but you could play it over and over again. Yeah. And it was just, and it's just an awesome game, an awesome platforming experience with very well crafted levels. Yeah, definitely excellent music. Ex- excellent music. Yeah. Like I used to, you know, I, I I used to I could probably whistle you all the fucking <laughs> yeah same level, you know, um, BGMs now. Yeah, I have that like you know like when you beat the game, it's like the montage of all the songs and all yeah, that. Yeah, it was oh, awesome. Yeah, but I like took my head constantly. Yeah, and that, <laughs> so yeah, good. I love the starlight. Um, Starlight Zone. Yeah. Uh, song. Da, 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 da. Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, so that, you know, that was my first experience with gaming and that's what set me on the path to be a gamer. Same. Sonic 2, more of the same and it was an outstanding, maybe more refined experience. Yeah. Obviously Tales you brought there. Tails into the mix as well. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, the Super Speed. The Spin Nash, yep. Yeah. yeah, which wasn't in the first one. Nope. So, you know, they just, they, so it was a, an improved game. It was. Um, and great couple of bosses at the end. Yeah, the yeah. Metal Sonic awesome. and the <laughs> giant Robotnik. Yeah, yeah. Sort of robot. That's cool. In space. Yeah. Um, and that, that's when I think I was really um, introduced 
to emotion in gaming. Yeah, sure. Because you know at the end of Sonic 2, spo- if you haven't played it, right, this isn't spoilers, if you haven't played <laughs> no. Sonic 2, you're a fucking idiot. Right? <laughs> Pretty much. Right. Um, well, you know, when after the uh, the, st- the space station blows up and yep. like, everyone in tails and the random animals are all <laughs> looking up sad that Sonic is potentially blown up with the space station. <laughs> yeah. And then he comes floating down and it's awesome. Yeah, until it catches him on the airplane. Yeah. So good. <laughs> so cool. I love it. See, it's... But, you know, Sonic 3... Even better. <laughs> ...was excellent again. And, like, yeah. the re- re- you know, the graphics had changed. They'd, um, they'd made Sonic look a bit... They'd made Sonic look a bit different. Um, Tails still looked the same, I think. Exactly yeah. the same animation as 2. I think so. Which was fine. Yeah. Um, this is where you introduce Knuckles into the mix. Yeah. Which is fine. And you care about these characters because they're not being forced on you. Right? So Sonic is Sonic and Sonic is the hero. Tails is his best friend. Fine. It works. Dr. Robotnik is the bad guy. Fine. Okay, cool. Definitely. Um, along comes Knuckles. Fine. He's a, another bad guy. Yeah, exactly. Just an, a fine bad guy. Yeah. I, I honestly think uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles is like some of the best storytelling uh, you can get in games because like there's never any words said yeah. but you get it you get what's happening yeah you understand straight away what, yeah. what it is like right so Knuckles is being a real dick to Sonic here he's laughing and Sonic is <laughs> falling through the ground into the yeah stage. he's always like one step ahead yeah and it's like but then towards the end when Sonic got Knuckles I think it's then Sonic 3 I can't remember but uh, you find out Knuckles is being tricked by Robotnik all yeah. the time I think it's, just, it's the end of Sonic 3 isn't it because yeah I think you're right obviously yeah. the next game in the series was Sonic and Knuckles yeah which give us a, a unique looking cartridge. Yeah, yeah. Where awesome. you could put uh, the other games in, uh, of the series in there, mm-hmm. and you could play Sonic 2 with Knuckles in there, and you're like, Jesus Christ, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. So you've got these characters that you care about, <laughs> but now you can play them in your old games as well. It's yeah. like, wow, this is amazing. And then, after this, after the Mega Drive era of Sonic the Hedgehog, it all just took a turn for the worse. I mean, Sonic CD is okay. Sonic CD is good, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's Sonic versus Metal Sonic. Yeah. A blue version of Metal Sonic. Yeah. Uh, not the same animation as Sonic 2. Different Metal, different Metal different Sonic. Different Metal Sonic, yeah. <laughs> um, so Sonic CD is is what it is. It's yeah. fine. But then, there's just some ridiculous games. Yeah. Um, so Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, I really like, on Dreamcast. Um, before, that, before that, Sonic Fighters. Oh, yeah, some like arcade games, yeah. If you can get it now, you can get it on backwards compatibility on Xbox know. One. Yeah, yeah, I've got it on Sonic Gems collection on PS2, I think. <laughs> Garbage, why is it even a game? <laughs> I don't know. Did it's like, right, we've got, we've got this, we've got this, you know, iconic gaming hero to many people, right? What, what can we do with him? <laughs> yeah, they well, they probably saw like the rise of the fighters, like uh, Tekken and all that. Virtual we, Fire. Virtual Fire, yeah, that's probably more like it. And then but we can do that. Let's sub Sonic in an arcade game, fighting fighting game. Let's make up these make up these other characters like the dog and whoever else. <laughs> <laughs> and he just like oh wait, I forgot one on the Mega Drive. Oh, Sonic yeah. 3D. Oh yeah. Uh, so that game gets a lot of hate. I actually kind of like it personally. Uh, I did kind of like it. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought it was it was a, it was cool. The, it, was, it was different. When I was young, obviously the the cutscenes were like oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah. This is, like, this is like it. next level. Yeah, yeah. What it, mentions what? It must be like when people saw Godzilla for the first time in the 50s. <laughs> okay. What the hell is this? This is like, it's like groundbreaking. Yeah. But yeah, it was fine. Sonic 3D Blast, I think that was called in America. Yeah, I think it was so. just called Sonic 3D, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It was okay. Yeah. Celebrate Sonic's fifth anniversary with new 3D gameplay, according to Wikipedia. Oh, actually. Right, Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, the next substantial, I mean, yeah, Sonic Spinball, which was fine and yeah. bloody hard. Blood the balls. I think I beat it. Very, game. very hard. Uh, but fine. But then the next substantial release was Sonic Adventure on the Dreamcast. Yay. Uh, good game. Yes. Gets a lot of hate now because people are idiots and don't understand that games age. <laughs> games age, big yeah. time. I mean, Jesus Christ. Have you seen Shemu now? Yeah. Shemu is... It's a great game. It's amazing, but old. Yeah, it's flawed. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's flawed. Yeah. Not every game can be a modern game. No, exactly. Um, I love Sonic Adventure 1 or 2. That's other than See that Sonic Adventure one and two were fine games. Yeah, they were. Ref- it was Sonic refined for a new generation of gaming. Definitely, uh, I loved the three D platforming stages. Mm-hmm. Didn't care too much for the free roaming or the yeah. you know whatever it was. I thought it was cool. It's unique, but uh, Pick Up the Cat, not a big fan of fishing mini game. 
See, this Garbage. is the problem here. We start to see new characters emerging. <laughs> yeah. Amy, we already knew about. Yeah, Amy's fine. Amy is fine. She's part of the Sonic Universe fine. Uh, Sonic, the, Sonic Adventure 2, um, we see Shadow for the first time. The ultimate low form. <laughs> yeah. I love Shadow. <laughs> yeah, I like Shadow as well. Yeah. But again, he was another character who was uh, introduced in the correct way. Yeah. But, uh, I was just aware age of Shadow at that time. <laughs> it was like Sonic versus Shadow. Yeah, yeah. Fine. I'm happy with this. It made sense. And Dr. Robotic is still there. He is now called Eggman at this point. Yeah. Dr. Um, Eggman. What? Who? <laughs> what's so cool about these games, what was so unique about them is, you know, you, you took the, the tried and tested Sonic formula, get the rings, jump on boxes, jump on springs, all that sort of stuff, and made it 3D. Yeah. Okay, so brought it into the modern era, it was fine. Then is when we it starts to get a bit pear-shaped and shit. Yeah. So what has happened to Sonic over the years? All right, I'm going to reel off a list of crap Sonic games here. Okay. You might disagree with some of them. I don't know. Sonic Heroes. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, I think Sonic Heroes was the first game I played, Sonic game I played, which I, I didn't like. Because, um, so Sonic Adventure 2, spoilers. Um, but See, this is the first one also. Um, obviously, Sonic Adventure was remastered and re-released later on on uh, PlayStation and Xbox. Yep, yep. But Sonic Heroes was on everything. It was, yeah. I got Nintendo, it GameCube, GameCube <laughs> PS2, Xbox. Yeah, it was the first Sonic game on like Nintendo console. It kind of blew my mind at the time. <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh, yeah, so two back Sonic Heroes, briefly. Um, so in the end of Sonic Adventure 2, Shadow dies, basically. He, goes, he saves everyone, falls through space, and dies. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Sonic Hero comes along, and like, suddenly Shadow's back. And I suddenly, as a, as a young teenager, as a young kid, uh, I was like, oh wow, Sonic Tag's back. How, how, what, how do they explain this? And what's the story with Winter back? I can't wait to play it. And uh, I play it and it's like, I have amnesia. I don't remember. I was like, that's it. <laughs> you don't yeah. remember. After all this time, I've been hyping myself up to play this game and you don't bloody remember. Yeah. Uh, but it was crap. Just a little well. lazy way to do it. It's yeah. the team dynamic, wasn't it? Where you have yeah, yeah. Tails and Knuckles working together and you could, I think you could combine the heroes. And yeah. The it's like someone had an idea for a game and just didn't bother to build a story around it. Just yeah. lazily. That's the problem uh, with Sonic. <laughs> yeah. That's the big problem with Sonic. Then, Shadow the Hedgehog again, GameCube, PlayStation 2, Xbox. Um, yeah, so I liked the game going up because I was just about age for it. <laughs> They're actually teenager age, uh, which they were going for. And yeah, Sonic with a gun, or Shadow with a gun, which is yeah. weird. Playing it now, it's, it's garbage, but at the time I thought it was cool. <laughs> Here's a very bad one. Okay. Sonic the Hedgehog. Just uh, Sonic the Hedgehog on Sonic Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. This, yeah. it's a, this is infamous now, this It's game. a bad one, the one, yeah. People want this remastered. <laughs> refined you know what it sucks you know what there is a hint of a good game in there it's just rushed so badly um, I, I actually played through the whole thing because I hate myself apparently but uh, <laughs> yeah it's not a good game this was to it's... celebrate Sonic's 15th anniversary oh. with the ability to play Sonic the Hedgehog Sonic. Shadow the Hedgehog and introduces playable character Silver the Hedgehog Silver the Hedgehog <laughs> Jesus uh, this is that's a bad game it's a bad game um, if they'd spent more time with it and made it probably like an actual game I don't know this it is when it starts getting even worse the demo was very good at that game I don't know that much the, what, sorry? the demo of the game was much yes, better than the actual game <laughs> um, see this is when they start to oversaturate it I mean it was getting bad at this point because yeah. Sonic Heroes okay fine let you off well, honorable mentions to Sonic Advance games and the Game Boy Advance they're very good yeah they're fine the 2D ones are always fine yeah, yeah. these ones are garbage okay Sonic and the Secret Rings on the Wii I, okay I like that one uh, it gets a lot of hate it has its weird motion controls but if you can put up with that, I kind of like it. I think it's a good game, okay. uh, deep down. Sonic Unleashed. Um, mixed bag, kind of okay. But Daytime Stays the Fun, where Hulk, the way Hulk, Hulk, oh God, the way Hog is done. Yeah. Words. <laughs> Sonic and the Black Knight. What the fuck are these games now? Uh, Sonic and the Black Knight was supposed to be a sequel to Sonic and, Sonic and the Secret Rings, um, but they changed it too much and it was garbage. Good. <laughs> Sonic Colors. What on earth? Sonic That's Colors is amazing. DS. Sonic Colors is amazing. Shut is up. it? Yeah, it's the best. It's so good. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's so good. Both versions, DS, Wii, I love it. The wonderful Sonic Generations. That is yeah, a fine game. Definitely. That is the last good Sonic game. So you've had all them crap Sonic games in between there. Yeah. Uh, some that you say are fine, most yeah. of them are garbage. But, um, uh, yeah, yeah. Come on. That's more garbage games. More garbage Sonic games. Sonic Generations is fantastic. That was yeah, to celebrate nice. Sonic's twentieth anniversary. That's how you do it. <laughs> let's get Sonic correct and let's make a very good game. Yeah. Done right. Sonic done right. Good job. Sonic Lost World. Um, mm, not that great. That was the last one. No, it wasn't. Nope. Since then, you've had Sonic Boom. 
Yep. What else have we got? Uh, Sonic, so Sonic 4, episode 1 and 2. Uh, I like them. No one else did. <laughs> no. I, I thought they'd be fun, but I don't know. All right. So the long and short of it is, <laughs> there's a lot of very shit Sonic games. Yeah. There's a, a handful of good Sonic games. Yeah. Sonic Generations being the last good one. Definitely. What needs to happen with Sonic now? Um, they need to focus. Um, stop, stop trying to uh, come up with new gimmicks and new ideas. Focus on making a good Sonic game. Make do whatever you did with Sonic Generations and do that. <laughs> you don't need to be. You don't need to like go back and like uh, remaster old levels or anything. Just make a new solid Sonic game with Sonic and maybe Tails and Knuckles. No one there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, you would never it. see this kind of um, franchise ruining with Mario. No, definitely not. And no. Nintendo cares about Mario. Mario games are very care- carefully crafted, wonderful experiences. And if they try and reinvent Mario, they take their time doing it. Yeah, yeah. Mario Galaxy, for Amazing. example, is just a wonderful game. Amazing game. But there's no no Sonic games touch that. No. New Super Mario Brothers, right? Right. It was an ori- It was you. T- you took an original game mm-hmm. and you've revamped it for a new generation and made it better. Yeah, sure. What? Why can't Sonic... Why can't they just do that? <laughs> I don't know. They need to be stuck... I don't know. What it's, they need to do... They're stuck trying to reinvent themselves, basically. The franchise... The mascot platformer can be done right. Mm-hmm. You, the only game you need to look at for that, I mean, Mario aside, is Ratchet & Clank. Yeah. The new Ratchet & Clank is a phenomenal example of how you can make a a, a, a tired series with um, a lot of games in it um, you know and reinvent it and make it fresh again mm-hmm. all they need to do with Sonic is just make a simple platforming experience yes I agree doesn't need any you know any fancy abilities any of that crap just you know, if it has to be 3D, so be it. It can be 3D. Yeah, if you can have 3D, yeah. I mean, the 3D part of Sonic Generations were fine. Just don't rush it. Yeah, don't rush it. Um, that's the thing with Sonic, like Sonic 4 and all that. Um, when they got announced they were going to make a new Sonic Sonic game, uh, it looked awesome, sounded awesome, but again, I think they rushed it too much. Yeah. And it wasn't what it could have been, even though I liked it. They should have brought it out in episodes. No, that was, that was dumb. They should, have, they should have just brought it out as one complete game. Yeah. Because I played the first episode, thought, yeah, okay, this is fine. I mean, episode two came around and I was playing something else. I was like, well, I can't be bothered to play that. What's the point? <laughs> yeah. Episode two had a weird gimmick as well with ta- Tails. Like team up attacks and weird stuff. But you don't need that. Don't, don't stop adding stuff. Yeah. You, <laughs> so- Sonic right now is at a point where people do not care about him anymore. Pretty much. Like, they see a new Sonic game announced and they think, well, that's going to be shit. Yeah. It's going to be absolutely terrible. With we, when we they, they think it without seeing anything of it. Any promotional <laughs> materials... Any gameplay, anything, they just think, right, that's going to be garbage. Yeah. You don't get that with Mario. Nope. You see a new Mario game, you think that's going to sell consoles. Yeah, definitely. That's going to shift Nintendo consoles. Yeah. What ruined Sonic? I mean, don't get me wrong. Obviously, they had, if they were going to continue to make Sonic games, they had to put it on everything. Yeah. Because the Dreamcast was the last Sega console. Yeah. Mario has never had that problem. That's true. But at the same time, was it the right thing to do? I don't know. Um, they could have, I don't know, signed a deal with exclusivity, exclusivity with like Sony or Nintendo or something, but, but they've done that recently with Sonic Boom, that doesn't work, so <laughs> who knows. I don't know. I th- Sonic's in a bad place at the minute, and yeah. it's, it's got to be its lowest stock ever. Yeah. And Sega have come out and said that also they don't want Sonic to be just a gaming icon, they want it to be an entertainment icon. Mm. They want to make, they want to make Sonic great again. It's like Darren Young. They want to make him exactly relevant like again. Yeah. Um, Maybe you give Bob Backman in there and give him a hand. Maybe, yeah, make Sonic great again with uh, Bob Backman. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure where Sonic is right now. Uh, it's in a bad place. I want this game, new game to be good. I, I want every good. Sonic game to be good. I want every Sonic game to be good. Yeah. But when they come around, they're just not. Yeah. Well, when I met that interview with Sega, it feels like they know they've messed it up and they want to make it good again. They want to make Sonic relevant again. So hopefully they've learned a lesson now and they will make... Because they're making a film, they've signed a, they've signed a deal with Sony Pictures to have a Sonic the Hedgehog film. Oh, interesting. Like okay. an animated movie. Interesting. Uh, didn't work for Ratchet and Clank because it bombed, but yeah, fine. Uh, if they want to do that with Sonic, fine, I'll watch it because it's Sonic. Yep. Thanks. But they need to simplify Sonic, 
go back to the basics, make it work again. Because if they if they don't, after saying that they want to make it great again, mm-hmm. then they it's time for Sonic to not be around anymore. Definitely. Uh, hopefully, they see games like uh, Ukulele and see that people want this kind of game to come yeah. back, and hopefully. Yeah, go about making. This is a gaming icon that everybody knows. Yeah, definitely. It deserves. It deserves a good game. Yeah, I agree. It. I mean, Sonic Generations was fantastic, and we always talk about it. I would love to play it again. I'd love it to come to backwards compatibility. Yep. Xbox, come on now. <laughs> Don't mess around. You've made all the other Sonic games backwards compatible. <laughs> yeah. Give us this one, the one we want. But um, it it needs a new lease of life. Yeah, I, agree. Uh, I think maybe even um, it needs to be taken off Sonic Team. Maybe, who knows? Sonic Team haven't done the best with it. <laughs> uh, well, Sonic Boom wasn't Sonic Team, and that sucks. <laughs> so, no, so either way, Sonic is, is, Sonic's in a bad place at the minute. Yeah, a very bad place, and it needs a new lease of life. And that's the way. The, the way to do it is by taking your time and going back to basics. If they don't, then I think Sonic's done for. Yeah, I agree. As both a gaming icon and an entertainment brand, I think Sonic is done. Yes. So, fix it, Sega. Fix it. <laughs> fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, that's something we're going to do every week now. We're going to do like a topic of the show every week. Yeah, that's good. Uh, last week was John Cena. This week was Sonic oh. the Hedgehog. Yeah. <laughs> two, um, two icons of their respective brands. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Um, if you care about Sonic the Hedgehog as much as we do, then uh, do tweet us at SonnyFinPC and uh, join in the conversation. And uh, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk about. Uh, we'll share our, our good Sonic memories. Yes. Not ones that are so bad that uh, we literally want to throw a paper towel and talk about them. <laughs> My best Sonic memory is finally, finally finishing Sonic 06. I never had to play it again. <laughs> uh, God, that's... just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that's a joke. Not really. Um, my greatest Sonic memories when I was a kid. To yeah, me too. And also the whale part of Sonic Adventure. Oh yeah, that was which awesome. Was fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, let's uh, let's let's move on. Let's talk about uh, okay. let's talk about wrestling. We are a wrestling and video game podcast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so if you listen to us every week, you'll know that. Uh, some weeks we talk about one, some weeks we talk about the other. Most weeks we talk about both. Yes. Um, I thought Raw was crap this week. Um, I thought it was okay. I think decent matches, but. Um... I mean, nothing really happened. Nothing yeah, really happened. from a from a story point advancement perspective, I thought it was I thought it was garbage. Yeah, very shocked that they uh, mentioned Roman Reigns suspension. Uh, glad they did, but I wasn't expecting it. So you're right on that one, for them. Yep, <laughs> I knew they had to. Yeah, that made sense in this age. If they, nah, they had to because they? the internet would have gone crazy otherwise. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, internet yeah. is not like we, we talk. We say this all the time, but wrestling fans are smart now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like there is no way you can brush over it. Even Roman Reigns acknowledged it, so it was out there. WWE put it out there. They don't usually do it, but because he's such a high-profile superstar, they just had to. Yeah. I mean, like, Jesus, could you business. imagine if Cena got suspended for the wellness <laughs> policy? Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, that would be... It's, it's, it's the same sort of thing. This <laughs> man sees Roman Reigns as the next John Cena. Yeah. Um, he's still in the main event of Battlegrounds. Yep, he won't win. Um, he isn't going to be around on TV. That but may not win. <laughs> You don't think he'll win? No, I don't think he will. No, I don't think he'll win either. But, um, you know, they mentioned it at the beginning of Raw this week. Um, you know, they used words like embarrassing. Seth Rollins did it. Mm-hmm. Um, Stephanie did it. Stephanie did it and looked like she really meant it when she said it as well. <laughs> um, yeah. but, you know, the long and short of it is he's still part of the main event and he's still going to be mentioned on TV for the next few weeks leading up to Battleground, yeah. even though he isn't going to be there. Gonna make up the strong. Yep, so he's still in the main event, so that every advertisement he's going to be on there. Yeah. Um, I still, th- I think he'll get drafted. You think so? Smackdown? No, I think he'll be on Raw. Okay. But I think he'll get drafted despite the fact he's not going to be there. Yeah, oh yeah. Be because be um, they're going to keep mentioning him on TV. Cool. Um, before we sort of talk about Raw this week, Brock Lesnar has been unveiled as the cover star for WWE 2K17. Oh yeah. Um, unsurprising choice, I guess. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, we, we talked about this before we started recording, but yeah. um, if you are not a wrestling fan, mm-hmm. uh, but you like playing the wrestling games, you like playing fighting games, but I'm not a UFC fan, but I buy the UFC games because I like playing them, these yeah. combat sport games. If you see Brock Lesnar on the front cover, you know, you're going to you're you're gonna know who up. it is, and you know you, you, the likelihood is you're going to pick the game up. Yeah, sure. But with, with UFC, there's UFC stars who I don't know who they are, who avid fans will know who they are. They put 
Conor McGregor and Ronda Rousey on the front cover of this one. Yeah. I know who they are. You've known them, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've not heard of them, like. So you, you, you know, you play the game because because of those people that you have heard of. Yeah. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, it's fine. Would I like to see someone else on the cover? Sure. Is it going to happen? No. Nope. <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about Raw. So obviously at the beginning of Raw, they um, Seth Rollins came out, mm-hmm. opened the show, you know, talking about how you know he basically he, he called out Roman Reigns on his policy violation and uh, how he thinks it should just be a one on one match. Yeah. Um, AJ Styles came down mm-hmm. and said maybe he should be interjected into the match. Yeah. It was cool when AJ came down because the crowd really popped for it, like. Oh, okay, we could actually get something quite special here. Yeah, yeah. Um, then Cena came down. Yep, woo woo. Uh, says, well, why can't he be in? He, why can't he be in there as well? Yeah, yeah. And at this oh, point, yeah. I thought, Jesus Christ, <laughs> is, this, is this really the direction we're going to go with this? Yeah. Um, Stephanie came out and also called out Roman Reigns, said it was embarrassing and all this sort of stuff. Saw yeah. Roman sitting at home smoking a joint, and whether the hell he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're sort of thinking, Jesus Christ, they're really going to town on this. <laughs> uh, and. Stephanie said, if you could, if Cena, if you can beat uh, Seth Rollins, you can be in the main event. And AJ, if you can beat Dean Ambrose, you could be in the main event. Yeah. So those two matches were then set for, to, for, the, for the night. Yeah. What we'll do, we'll do what we did last week and we'll we'll skim through it. Yeah, makes sense. And we'll talk about the important parts of, um, you know, well, <laughs> you know, at least the more interesting parts of Raw. Yeah. Uh, I've also got SmackDown spoilers, I think, as well. Oh, cool. So okay. we'll talk about that too. Cool. Um... Have you got the raw results of that? Uh, well, I have my little notes. Uh, oh, okay. The first match was a Divas match. Wow, Divas. Yeah, I'm impressed. Not Divas, a uh, women's match. Uh, Divas! Divas. Uh, women's! <laughs> Doesn't have the same ring to it. Not quite, no. We're about uh, the Divas. Yeah. I'm joking, though. No. Please, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was a pretty, uh, pretty nothing match. Um, so it was Sasha Banks and uh, the other one, Paige. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> the other one. Sasha Banks and Paige versus uh, Charlotte and Penny Book. Um, it was fine. Nothing much really happened. Uh, Shasta Bax got the pinfall over Dana and then picked her up and threw out the ring. Uh, Dana looks pretty shitty right now, to be she honest. She does not look good at all. She looks not so good. green, it is unbelievable. <laughs> green, yeah. Oh, man. Um, I feel bad for Dana because she's been thrown on there. Yeah, she's... Yeah. I'm not even sure why. Yeah, I think once Emma got injured, it's like, there's nothing else to do with her. She's like, quick, do something. Yeah. Make a... So I feel bad for Dana in that, in that respect. Yeah, uh, but too. she does look Pretty. She never looked that bad in NXT, though. I didn't think. No, no, she's fine. That's I don't know whether it was the the caliber of people that she was taking on in NXT or what, but she never looked that bad there. No. But it's now true. she's. I don't know whether it's the pressure or whether she feels like she. I don't know, but whatever it is, it's not working for her, and I feel sorry for her to be honest. Yeah, the way uh, Chelsea kind of picked up, threw her out of the ring, like it's garbage, kind of didn't help. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, such a match was there, so that was worth watching for that. But I don't yeah. Know. Not much really happened. Going to lead to the inevitable um, Sasha Banks versus Charlotte. Has it been announced about a round, is it? Or? Not yet, but it will. I'm it sure. will. Yeah, it will. Um, right, so then we had uh, Cena versus Rollins. Uh, Cena wins, gets put in the match at that round. He didn't. Uh, the club got involved. It's right yep. to Cena. Uh, Rollins got the, got the win. Uh, one with the pedigree. With the pedigree, yes. Fine match up until the, uh, the distraction. Uh, I I did think that something like this would happen. Oh, I never thought that Cena and AJ was ever going to get him, you know, put put into the main event. No, I didn't see. Um, so yeah, uh, Gallows, Anderson, and AJ all came down, uh, caused the distraction. Ronald's won with the pedigree. Good match though, up until yeah. then. Yeah, good match. Uh, worth watching. Yeah, worth watching. So, like I said, like Finn said, from a wrestling standpoint, Raw was good this week. From a storyline advancement standpoint, we were we, we were literally we started on square one, <laughs> yeah. and finished. On exactly the same square. Yeah, it's square minus one. Yep. Um, square, <laughs> square minus one. Uh, but after that, it was Enzo and Cass versus a couple of nobodies, uh, a couple of local jobbers, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I thought this was so weird. Like, are we really hard. having jobbers in this day and age? Yeah. But very I know that on NXT we get jobbers, but it's to enhance, um, you know, enhance the superstar that they're fighting. And yeah. nine times out of ten, they usually give them a. A fairly decent match. Yeah, yeah. This was this was a nothing squash match. It, yeah, great squash. That was about five seconds. Uh, Enzo kicked one in the head. Um, so did Cass. So did Cass. That's what I meant. Sorry. No, Cass. they both did. They, I think Enzo did a drop kick. And then oh, yeah. uh, Cass did a big boot. And then they did something. Uh, they did the finishing move, the, uh, the splash from the top rope. Yeah. And I would just like to point out how shit 
the commentary for that movie is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bada boom shakalaka. Oh, Are God, you joking? Yeah. Is this NBA Jam? Yeah. I, yeah. This is like slam dunk commentary from NBA Jam on the Mega Drive. <laughs> boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> He's on fire. And it sounds cringy because Michael Cole is the whitest person of all time. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. You shouldn't yeah. be saying boom shakalaka. Not really. You shouldn't even be saying bada boom. We this guy's in the room, no. No. I agree. Um, Byron Saxton is not a, a gangster. <laughs> it, it just doesn't sound right. You know, like with Enzo and Cast, they've got that street sort of speak. Yeah. Like Byron Saxton is, you know, better spoken than we are. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And I, I feel like we are quite well spoken. Yeah. But Byron Saxton is better well better spoken than we are. He is. And like even him. he's saying it. Yeah. Fool. I like Byron, but yeah. Yeah. Didn't sound good. I like Byron more now than I did. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I thought he uh, sucked when he first came to Raw. But again, I thought it was rushed to Raw. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, Get rid of JBL and stuff. Yes, it's good JBL. Good name. Make um, Michael Cole a heel again. Make Michael Cole a heel, Con. Please no. <laughs> you're, not, you're not a fan of that? No, it was so bad. It was a heel commentator. I thought it was okay. Oh, I hated him. Ugh, it sucks. It, uh, commentary's always sucks. You, you actually, you know, <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. I think the commentary on Raw is very poor. We make JR. That's what we need. But we've got Mauro Ronaldo on SmackDown, who's outstanding. Yeah, exactly. Have, have him on the SmackDown and bring back Jay off a wall. That's what I say. Never going to happen. No, it won't happen. <laughs> but it'd be cool. Um, anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another thing to mention is they uh, tried to do like, the Mexican, Mexican wave with the audience. Oh, um, yeah. Please don't encourage them. <laughs> yeah, Mexican, Mexican waves aren't a good thing. That. Mexican waves aren't a good thing. It means the audience is bored and they don't want to be there anymore. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Dumb. Yeah, dumb. Uh, it worked. Like, they did like a, a two cycles of it and then it just sort of like petered out. Yeah. Well, the match actually started and they were like, right, oh, watch the match now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, then. I hope that that's going to be a thing, I think, going forward. You think so? Yep. I hope not. That's going to be every week now. Oh, God. Nightmare. Um, so, right. Next match, uh, it was, well, it wasn't actually a match. It was supposed to be Summer Rae versus Becky Lynch. Uh, Natalia was at ringside. But as soon as, uh, Becky Lynch came to the ring, she went and attacked Natalia. Mm. Uh, <laughs> threw her coat at Summer Rae, who got zero reaction, by the way, when she, yeah. uh, she did her, uh, pose in the ring. Shame. I kind of like Summer Rae, but, yeah. She's kind of nothing. I like, like Summer Rae in the uh, the fact that she's lovely to look at. She's very busy, yes. Maybe not. I don't think she's pretty. I think uh, um, I think her face <laughs> is not the best, but the okay. rest of her is just it's just a real treat. Harsh, but yeah, um, right. yeah, it's harsh. But uh, <laughs> you're talking to somebody who doesn't give a fuck. Fair play. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, we almost had two women's matches in one one night, but we didn't. So. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's like a, so that's going to be a thing. It's going to be Becky versus Natalia about a round, I assume. Oh, for sure. Um, should we make a prediction that's going to be on the pre-show? It shouldn't be, but it probably will be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> it's going to be. It's got pre-show written all over it. Yeah. Uh, it's like, we need, a, we need a women's match for the pre-show. <laughs> yeah, I'll just put that one on there. It's fine. Uh, not good. Uh, after that, we had the highlight reel with Chris Jericho. Mm. Uh, it's guest Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. So it's a very good, very good uh, segment, I thought. Yes, it was good, yeah. Um, very was, emotional. Yes, definitely. Uh, Matt's about that makes sense uh, and I think they'll be split up afterwards yes I agree which would be kind of sad because they had a good like thing going but it I makes liked, sense uh, I like Jericho Jericho sort of uh, fueling the fire mm. trying to obviously get uh, get them to maybe attack each other yeah and uh, then uh, Jericho was invited to the super kick party <laughs> yeah, and cool. got took a couple of boots to the face in the end yeah. but it was a very cool um, very good emotionally charged believable segment between, you know, two guys who have worked together in both in the Indies and NXT and mm. they just know each other inside out. Um, this feud does need to end. Yeah. But um, I think Battleground is the perfect place to end it because things are going to reset after that because yeah. the because the brand, the brand split will come into effect. And brand split. Uh, brand split. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm like um, the uh, Kim Jong-il rip-off on Team oh, yeah. America. Uh. Hands bricks! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah Brian Spread that's what it is it is yeah um, well after that we had another match with uh, so, oh, so somewhere during the night there's a backstage segment with The Miz and Kane uh, The Miz needs to do uh, awful yeah terrible The Miz needs to uh, defend his title because he hasn't done it in a while which doesn't make sense because Rock Lesnar was champion and was never there and never defended it in like two months but whatever double standards that's what that is <laughs> it is management have their favourites yeah um, I didn't like it. I thought that segment was terrible. I, th- I don't know what Kane is now. Yeah, it's very weird. But, uh, but so I feel sorry for Kane because he's such an excellent worker as well. He is. He's and he's been so good over the years. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so the match happened. Uh, Miss came out. Uh, did no reaction at all. 
Promise. Nope. Um, <laughs> Which is a shame because Miz has been doing so good recently. <laughs> it is really good. I like but it's Miz. the problem when you take these people off TV and just, they just lose steam. They do, yeah. Like, he's forget. coming back and having a nothing match with Kane that yeah. no one cares about. Yeah, so it's supposed to be like a surprise. Uh, oh, yeah. Surprise. Uh, having it. I kind of figured it would be Kane because of the segment earlier. Yeah. And surprise, surprise. It was Kane. Yeah, masked up. Masked up, yeah. Demon Kane. Yeah, uh, I hate the. Oh, Demon don't. Kane and Corporal Kane. Um, but yeah, Kane again, no reaction at all. Corporal? Corporal Kane? No. Because he likes one of the now Sergeant Slaughter's tag team partner. <laughs> yeah. Corporal. Sergeant Slaughter and Corporal Kane! <laughs> Corporal Kane, sorry. There you go. Um, but yeah, no reaction once again. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, I just feel so sorry for these guys. Yeah. I really do. Um, but yeah, nothing match. Uh, by count out, Ms. Maurice is supposed to be hurt. Uh, Ms. escorted around the building. And yeah, count out. Done. Yeah, no, that, there's a backstage segment where Maurice softs leave. Admitted yeah. that she faked the injury. Yeah. Uh, good acting, obviously. Miss said that she's going to win an Emmy. I think he might have said an Oscar before. Yeah, something like that. And then that. Maurice corrected him, says, oh, we're on TV. <laughs> well, that would have been lost on most people. I just yeah, sort of picked I mean, it up. I was head. like, right, okay, yeah. fair enough. So, um, yeah. But why do you think it's a tight match? Who knows? Um, but where, the thing is, where does the Miz go now? Yeah, who knows? Is this thing with Kane going to carry on? Because... Why not? I, I really hope not. Yeah. Kane is looking, Kane's Kane... looking uh, un, not unwell, unfit. He's not, he's not in wing shape. Well. <laughs> uh, and I, where's Kane been? Has he even been on TV recently? Uh, not really. Only when he came back last week and did like the whole cor- corporate Kane thing. Trying Corpor- to get. Corporal Kane. Corporal Kane. <laughs> uh, Maybe we should do that tag team besides just like that. Maybe. You get like camouflage mask and shit. <laughs> yeah. That'd be good. Uh, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> After that, we this had. That's why I'm not on creative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, still got the most, most ideas they have. But, uh. True. I'm surprised they haven't gone for it. Yeah. Hopefully they'll hear this podcast and Vince and Man. <clears throat> you ready? I'm ready. Well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Good. It's the next match. I heard <laughs> the two guys on the podcast. It's getting worse. The Vince and Man have been fresh. It's getting worse. Yeah. I think we should go with Corporal Kane. Ah, <laughs> uh, Get him fitted with some camo. <laughs> uh, what is happening? I don't know. This is, this is what happens with this podcast. Yeah. Uh-huh. <sighs> so we had, a, we had a weird tag match after that. Um, it's throwing together a match, uh, Apollo Cruz and Cesaro versus Seamus and Alberto Del Rio. Um, oh yeah, I know. Um, I saw something, I saw a picture of the, uh, Paige was, at, uh, like ramp side watching Alberto Del Rio. Oh yeah. Yeah. Weird. Um, well, you I'll... missed something out that I just remembered. What's that? It was a shit thing, to be honest. Okay. After the end zone and cast match, the social dick watch came down. Oh yeah. I've got them. It was a nothing thing. Yeah, pretty much. And they got beat up and they went back to the back. Hopefully, that's something that's never going to carry on. Hopefully not. Carry on. Right. Um, so it's fine, match. Pretty decent, I guess. Um, uh, Jonah Mass, Alberto turned on Seamus. Uh, big surprise. Uh, please don't turn Alberto to the real face. Which they're going to. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. We tried it before. It didn't work. Uh, but he's getting a decent reaction, I guess, from the, like, the whistling the thing he does and like the but he's genuinely very good Del Rio he is, he's I'm very a big fan of Del Rio when he left um, you know I thought it was probably the right time for him to go because his act got a bit stale with uh, Ricardo and they were carrying that bucket around and I'm still to, even now I don't know what it represented yeah strange um, and then he went to Lucha Underground and he was doing some of the indies and he was very good mm-hmm. and um, you know I think enhanced his stock um, yeah. and that, what did make me laugh actually when the you know, the finish to the match was when Del Rio slapped him around the face and then did the inziguri. Yeah. I was like, that's, that's amazing. That's really good. It's so um, funny. But yeah, I like the motto. It doesn't work in the face. Um, but I think they will turn the face just because. Bring back the uh, Mexican aristocrat gimmick. I like that. Oh, it yeah. rubbed people the wrong way. Yeah, it was fine. It annoyed people and uh, he looked better in the, the the white and gold pants as oh, yeah. opposed to the crappy red pants. <laughs> Fair play. It, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so again, match. It's just always just seem to be there to make up the numbers. Uh, I know, it's such a shame. Yeah, he deserves better. Um, so, it's, I don't understand what's going on here, because originally I thought, right, okay, so is Del Rio and Cesaro in a feud, and obviously Apollo and Sheamus were in a feud, Yeah. But then to end the match, now Alberto and Sheamus are in a feud. Yeah, I think they just wanted a match so they can have the feud to have Alberto and Sheamus go against each other. So what happens to Apollo and Cesaro now? Who knows? Because Apollo won the match with his powerbomb. Yeah, yeah. The weird looking powerbomb as well, I didn't get it. Well, he, he did it on, when he was on NXT, because like, I think his finishing move was like that backflip um, thing. That yeah, he I think in the Indies he's like some flippy thing, flippy move. Yeah, <laughs> but like I think WWE wanted to be like a strongman of some sorts. Yeah. So they have him have the, 
lift them up is like they're going for an atomic drop or a backdrop and then do it into a sit out power bomb. Yeah. Triple H like helped him create it. Like it was showed on breaking round. Oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I like Apollo and I love Cesaro. Um, what happens now? I, I don't really have an interest in seeing Del Rio versus Sheamus, to be honest. No. But it looks like we're going to get it. Yeah. Yay! Hooray. Alberto! Yeah. Bring Ricardo Rodriguez back. I can't do it. I can't do it either. Nope. That's not like a Wookiee. So after that, we had. It was a New Day segment. New Day came out dressed as the Whites. Which is funny. It's very funny. Uh, Xavier, New Day! New Day! But Xavier was uh, clearly shaken up uh, by the Whites who came out and interrupted them like uh, they like New Day did to them last week. Yeah. Uh, good segment. Uh, Whites look good. I Bray like... is looking very, very good at the minute. He looks great, okay, yeah. Sounds uh, fantastic as well. Promos are probably better than they've mm-hmm. ever been because I think he's refined his style. And, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just think he's... I don't know. I've, I've got a lot of time for Bray. Not don't, yeah. I really don't care too much for Braun or Eric uh, Rowan. Yeah. Um, Luke Harper is obviously excellent. We are big fans of his. Yep. Um, Isn't I want to see Bray really have a good run by himself. Mm. There we go. Uh, I do like uh, Eric Rowan's new mask with the horns. That's cool. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not much wrestler, left, sadly. Uh, I'm afraid not, though. No. But uh, yeah, good segment. I ended up with saying uh, New Day Falls. New Day Falls. Which yeah. Is creepy. And obviously they're sort of uh, Bray Wyatt's trying to... I don't know if he's trying to tempt Xavier Woods to come to, you know, the Wyatt family. Mm, I don't see this... I don't see that going anywhere. I think no, events... I think what might happen um, is you might see Xavier sort of go to that side um, but then attack the Wyatts from the inside, maybe. Maybe, yeah. I'm not sure. I think that may be where they might go with it. But yeah. I think that's pretty cool. I don't see them splitting the New Day up. Uh, no. Not anytime soon, anyway. I think they'll maybe tease splitting them up. At least like tension, but they were the but uh, they have like how the positivity pulls through, yeah, it overcomes and all that. Um, but I, I'm fine fun. with the way it's going so far. I, I yeah. quite like the feud because it's going to lead to a three on three, uh, probably battleground. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and I'm 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 happy to see that. It's nice to yeah. see another three man team. Yeah, yeah. Obviously the new day have always got the numbers advantage, uh, and especially all the whole time they've had the tag team titles. Yeah, um, I don't see this feud being for the titles. Don't think so. No. Mm, Who'd you have? Braun, Braun and Eric Rowan? Um, I don't know. Just do three versus three for the titles, isn't it? I guess. I don't think that'll happen. No? No. no. Okay. I we'll think see. it'll be a thing. The Whites will win. Um, I'm, I'm telling team, you yeah. now, what's going These fuse that you see now, um, you won't see after Battleground. Yeah, oh, you're probably right. Yeah, until it gets better. Because the, uh, everything, uh, things are going to change. There might be a new championship. From what I've been reading, there might be a new, uh, there might be a new championship at least. Mm, uh, so, I, I mean, Joey Styles uh, on Twitter, former ECW commentator and current WWE media and person. <laughs> yeah. uh, Joey Styles <coughs> basically was sort of arguing with fans on Twitter like he does, basically saying that because, you know, like, like NXT, which is a separate brand, but still a branch of WWE, mm-hmm. um, you know, if Raw and SmackDown are going to be separate brands, then they should have their individual championships. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. We'll see. I mean, we don't know for sure. We really know very little about the brand split. Yeah. Whether it's going to be Two separate shows with two GMs. Yep, pretty much. We don't know about the pay per views, even though so sort of, last week we read out the uh, the leaked schedule. Mm-hmm. Whether it's true or not, yeah. remains to be seen. It looks legit, but we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I don't think this Wyatt New Day feud is going to be for the tag titles. Um, no, okay. Um, right, so then I let's kind of end there because I was a trail off. Um, but I think after that it was basically just made event. Um, no, I can find out. Okay. Oh. I do have notes here, but the website's so down slow. <laughs> I yeah. have to find out it. Uh, oh, there was another Devin Young segment. Uh, made Devin Young great again. Uh, it's just as bad and cringeworthy as all the others. <laughs> he'll come back, um, he'll probably come back in the draft. Probably. Uh, quick results, here we go. For fuck's sake. Um, this bloody app that I use. This is <laughs> constant mobile gaming adverts. Oh, God, yeah. Terrible. Right, it's not going to make me buy the game. It's going to make me delete the app. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really think anything significant sort of happens to that. And I think you're probably right because that was quite late on in the show with the New Day segment. Yeah. So, yeah, it was World Heavyweight Champion Dean Ambrose uh, versus AJ Styles. Uh, like the Cena match, if AJ got in uh, would, or beat Dean Ambrose, he would go on to Battlegrounds and uh, make it a fatal four way match. Mm-hmm. Didn't happen. Nope. Same sort of um, ending to the match earlier on in the night. Yeah. Uh, the Bullet Club came out. Cena came out. 
cleaned house, distracted AJ, um, Dean Ambrose won with the Dirty Deeds. Yeah, that's been legit. This is basically uh, just to continue the Cena AJ feud. Yeah, um, and then they hit the uh, magic kill on top of the ramp as well afterwards. Right, I think I've folded that. I right. think I just turned it up because so I was just like, right. <laughs> I've right. wasted my time watching this week's episode of Raw. <laughs> Fair play. <laughs> but yeah, they hit the magic kill on the top of the ramp. It looked painful. And uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty, pretty much the end. Um, so, uh, a nothing episode of Raw, really, like we said. Started at square one. Yeah. Finished on square one. Let's have a look at SmackDown. See what we've... Uh, okay. News and notes for Thursday's show. Excellent. So, we'll, I'll just run through it. Um, Bray Wyatt returned to in-ring action. Good. Oh, after SmackDown. Oh. To be part of a six-man main event. Ambrose, Sami Zayn and Cesaro beat Bray, Rowan and Strowman. Yeah, they lost. In a bonus main event. Mm, okay. Um... He's White, so this was actually our SmackDown, I believe. Okay. Uh, the Wyatt henchman, Braun Strowman and Eric Rowan, returned to beat two jobbers. All right. Oh, right, so this More is jobbers. the thing that was it, jobbers. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, women's action, Sasha Banks beat Summer Rae, and Dana Brooke beat Billy Kay from NXT. All right, okay. Interesting. Okay. No, um, nice of Billy Kay to drop to Dana Brooke. <laughs> yeah. Make Dana Brooke look strong. Okay. Uh, Cesaro <laughs> won a number one contender match to get a US title shot against Rusev on the same show. <laughs> Rusev then beats Cesaro to retain the US title, uh, setting up Rusev versus Tyus O'Neill for the title. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, okay. Which, um, oh, it's Independence Day. Oh, right. So that, oh, that means on Raw this week we're going to get some. Uh, uh, we love America. America, it's great. And the uh, army uh, is really good and stuff. Do we Marines. think, um, Steve, a uh, friend of the show, Steve, said that he thinks Tyus O'Neill is actually going to win the US title soon? Mm, I hope not. Oh, no, I hope not as well. <laughs> I, like, but I like Rusev too much. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen on the Independence Day episode of Raw. Yeah, it will. they will have it for a little while, then Rusev will just win it back. Yeah. Maybe they'll win it back on the same night. Unless <laughs> this is going to be setting up some sort of bring back the European Championship sort of thing. Maybe. Ooh. Ooh. This is, we're, we're making things here. We're making it up as we go along. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. That could happen. Imagine that. Yeah, that Rusev could be the, U- you know, you could have the US champion on one show. Mm-hmm. And because I, I think these mid-tier championships aren't going to be on both shows. No. They'll be brand specific, I imagine. Yeah, Intercontinental one, US on another, maybe one other on each show. Yeah, maybe. I think there may be... I mean, there is there was rumours that they were going to bring the European Championship back. Yeah, yeah. I'm fine with it. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Be cool. People loved it. People did love the European Championship. Yeah. It went away for whatever reason and it could come <laughs> back and, um, you know, Rusev... Is, would be the right person to have it. Yep. Uh, Rusev on Raw, Titus on SmackDown. Yep. I'm going to predict that now. I'm calling it. That's what's going to happen. All right. US cool. Championship is going to Rusev. And it, sorry. European Championship going to Rusev, going to be on Raw. Titus O'Neill drafted SmackDown with the US title. All right. Sounds good to me. Okay. We'll see. Yeah. We'll add that to the never-ending list of predictions that we have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then what do we have? WWE Champion Dean Ambrose beat IC Champion The Miz in a non-title champion versus champion main event. Oh, interesting. Okay. Fine. Yeah. So SmackDown, Smackdown sounded fairly pointless this week. Um, and the, the only thing it sort, sort of set up was the US title match on Raw. Yeah. Right. So it is what it is. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, have you, did you see the um, Cruiserweight Classic uh, sort of uh, opening ceremony last week? I haven't actually, no. Uh, it basically introduced uh, the, the guys that were in the tournament. Cool. Very cool to see some of the... Very cool and surreal at the same time to see some of these guys in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I actually can't wait. Yeah, I saw something on YouTube with like Daniel Bryan meeting some of the New York so many guys. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, because um, it basically announced Moro, Ronaldo and Daniel Bryan as the announced team mm. and then sort of played some, some music and everybody was introduced like representing whatever country they're from, who they are, they did their pose in the ring and all this sort of stuff. Cool. It was very cool. Yeah, uh, awesome. I'm so excited for it. Yeah. Like, I'm really, really, really excited for it. It's like, I think it coverage starts in a couple of weeks. So there's a, like an introductory show next week. Oh, yeah. Uh, following NXT, I believe. Cool. And then the, it because. starts the week after, July 13th. Awesome. Uh, it's, it's going to be outstanding. I'm, I think I really do, I really think it is. Yeah, I think it it. Um, what else have we got wrestling wise here? Not a lot, to be honest. No, not much happened, I don't think. No, not really. Um, no, in fact, nothing at all. Yeah, right, fair. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. That's well, episode now, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, that was the end of this week's show. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like we've covered a lot of ground this week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we talked okay. sort of, uh, some video video game stuff. Talked about Sonic. Yep. And his eventual downfall. Yeah. Way cool. less cool. Calling that now as well. Yeah, <laughs> his downfall of Sonic. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, after this, this I'm just going to predict this video going to suck. I want it to be good so bad. Pretty yeah, good. I want it to be good so bad as well. But we'll see. <laughs> I keep my fingers crossed. I've got everything crossed for it. <laughs> yeah. Fingers, toes, balls, everything. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it has. Yeah. But imagine. it'd be worth it if Sonic Games good. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you never have kids, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so that's uh, episode 19 of the Sunny and Finn show. Um, Follow us on Twitter at SunnyFinPC. Yep, yep. And have a chat to us like uh, other people do. Yep, yep. Uh, we seem to be getting more followers by the week, and it's lovely to hear from new people all the time. Definitely. So that's great. Thank you very much. Uh, do go subscribe to our YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Because of YouTube cracking up, we've lost a few uh, subscribers this week. Thank you, YouTube. Uh, through no fault of our own, because there's people that have lost like 200,000 followers. Yeah. Uh, really. For those people, I feel I feel truly awful for. Yeah. We've so lost bad. like five or six, and we're like crying about it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, go subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunny and Finn Play, for new Let's Plays. Uh, new live streams mm-hmm. uh, from the two of us and oh as always our monthly WWE live pay-per-view prediction show yep um, go Which subscribe one? on iTunes to our podcast go follow us on SoundCloud and uh, any other podcast service that you may use across all sorts of different devices oh yeah go crazy sense. you can find, find us anywhere yeah, just google us it's fine google it yeah um, Good figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're we're everywhere now. Yeah. Um, we're hoping to do some sort of charity stream, like a twenty-four hour live stream soon. That'd be cool. Um, something we're going to figure out. We're going to work out dates and what we're going to do it for, and uh, we'll start pushing it probably about what a few weeks before. Yep. If we're really tired, we'll open up a just giving page and all that other stuff. Makes sense to me. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Awesome. Uh, so look out for what happened NXT that drops every Friday on your podcast services, mm-hmm. uh, iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and everything else. And that is my weekly NXT recap. I'm thinking of doing something very similar to for the Cruiserweight Classic as well, but uh, we'll see. Cool, awesome. But for now, I'm Sunny. I'm Finn. And we'll speak to you next time. Thank you guys. Goodbye. Thank you much. Goodbye.